Siege on console is a, uh, well, unique experience. You have to deal with mouse and keyboard users, DDoSers, and now even hackers. But on top of all of that, you also have Ubisoft ignoring any feedback you provide and changing the game while ignoring the differences faced between PC and console, with a major example being the recent recoil changes to operators like Ash and Sophia. These recoil changes are usually not too bad on PC where it's easier to control recoil, but on console, Weapons are much harder to control, meaning that weapons like Ella Scorpion and the SMG-12 are much harder to control um, than compared to on PC. And trust me, I know I play on both PC and PS4, meaning that I have experience with both, and I can say with confidence that controlling weapons on console can be a nightmare compared to PC. However, today I want to try and help you control Zofia's M762 on console. The weapon was recently nerfed and of course the nerf did not have the console community taken into consideration, meaning that now the gun is incredibly hard to use and it's just to the point where you might as well just use your pistol. But I want to help you control the recoil of the M7 and I hope after this video you will be able to use the weapon efficiently and properly instead of spraying and hoping you are able to hit the enemy's head before they kill you. And if this video helps, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe. It's free, and if you regret it later, you can always unsubscribe. All it takes is one click, or press, or, you know, whatever it takes to do it on whatever you're watching this video on. I would really appreciate it, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the recoil pattern on Sophia's AR is pretty unusual. Most weapons in Siege that have high amounts of recoil either usually have difficult horizontal recoil or diff difficult vertical recoil. However, the M762 has both, so I wanted to see which muzzle attachment worked best with the M7. Um, I tested the three muzzle attachments that can control recoil, and here are my results. So, as you can see, the weapon's recoil is primarily vertical and to the left, and due to this, I recommend you use the flash hider. The compensator is better for reducing side to side recoil, but because the horizontal recoil is primarily to the left and doesn't really move side to side, I recommend the use of the flash hider so you can focus more on controlling that left, uh, you know, little horizontal recoil instead of using the compensator and having a bad time trying to control both the horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil. I also recommend the use of the vertical grip and the reflex sight because I have the best experience using that combination of attachments and it seems to help with the recoil a little bit. Anyways, let's move on to how exactly you control the recoil. The recoil is harder to use than before the nerf, but it is a lot more consistent. Uh, as you previously saw, the recoil moves up and to the left without fail every single time, meaning obviously you should pull down and the, to the right using your joystick. You should also try not to take any long range engagements because if you do, you will not have a good time, seeing as how the recoil can both get pretty, un uh, not unpredictable, but really, really bad. And also the first shot recoil can also be really bad, meaning that, you know, you may aim onto someone, but you're definitely not going to be keeping your reticle on them. I also fully recommend, or I also recommend that you fire in bursts if you are unable to control sustained fire and slowly move towards fully automatic as time goes on in order for you to control the recoil a little bit better. Or you can ignore everything I just said and use the LMG. But regardless of what, what which weapon you choose, I hope this video has helped you in controlling the recoil of the M762. And I hope you have an absolutely great day today. Stay safe and thank you so much for watching.